Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make something either completely transparent or translucent. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add in a material. Okay, now this isn't how to make something look like glass. That is a lot more complicated than this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to call this, um, we can just call this translucent Okay, and let's open this up. And what you'll see in here is you basically have, well, your tra all of your items that you can add in to make your color here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add it in a constant. And I'm going to add in a constant three vector. Okay, and this is going to give me a color. So I'm just going to plug that into the base color here. And you can pick any color you want. All right, so I, I'm just going to maybe pick that. Doesn't really matter. Basically, that's what we're looking to do. Now, the other thing you're looking at here is the opacity here. Now, opacity is basically whether it's, you know, transparent or not. And you can see that it's grayed out. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of things that are grayed out. And the reason is, is that there are different shaders that you need to, um, well, not necessarily, but different blend modes that you need to be aware of. Now, if you go in here and you look at the blend mode, you have a bunch of different options here, okay? Um, and these are all really interesting, but the one we want today is translucent, and then voila, we now have the opacity working out here. Now, in theory, you could just do this, and, you know, it would work out, but that's not exactly... Um, what we'll do here. And the other thing about working with materials is that they do take a fairly long time to uh, to render here. So uh, I might be pausing the video until it actually renders so I don't waste your time. And as you can see, well, this doesn't exactly work the way I wanted it to. And the reason is actually quite simple. We need to add in another type of constant here. So let's just go ahead. And for some reason, there's a comment there, but let's add in a constant, right? We want just a constant here and you can see that the uh, by the way the constant three vectors you have three constants and a con just the constant you have one so I'm just gonna put this to 0.05 or um, 0 0.5 okay then I'm gonna drag that into the opacity here and what I'm going to do is pause the video and once the shaders completely render you can see that well it's well transparent look at that and you can actually change this value um, to whatever you want here now 0.5 is a pretty good um, is a pretty good number here I'm gonna save that here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add this into your game okay and again the saving takes a while so once that's done let's take a quick look at how we can add in something here we're gonna go add in a blueprint class make sure it's an actor and we'll say that this is a cube right and let's just go and drag that cube out there now normally we don't really have anything here because we have to open it up and let's go to add in a cube component next thing we're going to do is we're going to change this to translucent all right now if you wanted to make it blue or whatever you can go ahead and do that but basically let's go ahead and save it or compile it and there you go and if we go and play into this here you can see that it is indeed a transparent cube right now you'll also notice that you know, without some kind of texture or anything like that, it does get a little bit, uh, it doesn't look as good as you might want it to. So if you are trying to make like a force field or anything like that, you might want to add in a texture to, um, uh, to this area here. All right, so that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. If you really like this channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. This channel has not been monetized yet, and it would definitely help us out if it were to be monetized. All right, thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.